I um, would like to pass this around to um, our to the board members and anybody else who's interested. This is, um, I thought this was interesting, um, members of CCOP, the Castro Community on Patrol, who are a volunteer um, organization in the Castro that provide um, public safety services in the evenings. They, what they did on their own, not asked by me, that's for sure, um, was to look at the patrol special reports since um, April and also their own incident reports and um, compare Harvey Milk Plaza to Jane Warner Plaza and compare the numbers of incidents or calls um, made at those two locations um, over the past several months since April. And if you see, um, Harvey Milk Plaza is in um, blue and Jane Warner is in red. And I thought this was, was really amazing. Um, the benches were taken out early, early November, I think November 2nd. And um, you can see that um, the incidents dropped immediately of calls and problems in Harvey Milk Plaza. This is in the evening. These are not issues during the day at all. Um, and initially, as, as we can all testify, there was a lot of um, problems in Jane Warner Plaza, but it, according to their even <coughs> during the night, it seems to be you know, dropping off. Who knows, maybe it was raining a lot, you know, who knows, it's only two months of uh, numbers. But um, I thought this was really interesting and useful data. I think it's really important to base policy on data. And um, I thought this was really interesting to, to take a look at. And I want to thank them. There's a lot of time to go through all those months of, um, of data. Give us and the time frame on this, what's the this, hours? This is in the evening. So, you know, patrol special gets there around 4-ish. And they're on weekdays, they're there until 1 in the morning. And on weekends, which a weekend is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, they're there until 3 a.m. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to, to just remind people is that we really um, did put those put seating in, in the Castro to enable elderly, disabled, um, and others um, to have a place to sit. That was the original intention, and that still is the, the intention of the seating. There's 40 chairs, probably 30 at this point, um, at Jane Warner Plaza. There's a lot of seating available right across the street from the Muni Station if people are huffing and puffing from coming up the steps. Um, and then we have a really unique opportunity um, coming up in the next couple of months in the Castro to talk about public seating um, the, with the sidewalk widening project. And there's money there for streetscape and beautification and public safety improvements. And so, excuse me, I think that this, this is an incredible opportunity and really unusual. It's a once in a lifetime, it's not going to happen again, opportunity in the Castro for people to talk about beautification, public safety, and seating opportunities, whether it's raining, whether, you know, whatever it is, that, that there's money there. The budget was based on the Valencia Street sidewalk widening, and the widening is going to, I mean, they're looking at traffic and pedestrian use from the northern corner, so, so Castro and Market on the north side of Castro and Market, all the way down to 19th Street. Um, so I would really encourage anybody who's interested in public seating to attend those community meetings. The first one is on January 23rd at the Eureka Valley Rec Center. It's at 6 o'clock. Um, and this is an incredible opportunity for people who are interested in, in, um, in this topic and in streetscape and um, street furniture and public safety and those kinds of issues.